The European Union has the goal to reduce energy use in the European building stock by 80% by 2050. Honestly, this goal is technologically relatively easy to reach. We know what the large energy flows in buildings are, namely heating, cooling, and electricity. We also know how to reduce these energy flows with energy efficiency. And the best part is that the methods work almost as well in existing buildings as in new construction. That is why I have the task to model energy flows on campus. Because when we know in detail how energy use looks today, we can plan and implement smart investments in our own campus test arena. But it's not just about meeting an EU goal. It's about reaching even further and to see the huge potential that exists to reduce our energy needs. New buildings are only built at a rate of about 1% per year. So the real savings potential lies in the existing building stock. Maybe you think that I make it sound too simple to reach such a lofty goal as 80% reduction in energy use in buildings. And if I then add that, in theory, it would be equally easy to take on another giant challenge, like reducing energy use in transportation, you might even find it hard to believe me. But the thing is, the technology to do all of this already exists today. Now it's just will and inspiration that is lacking. We at Chalmers begin where we are.